Get up, fools. Big T here, back with another video, and I just want to say EA Today is trash. <laughs> you guys all know that I don't really care for EA. I don't really like them anymore. Um, and that wasn't always the case. Uh, I had an N64 and I was missing EA games back in those days and um, it was tough waiting for EA to show up on N64. They finally did and I was happy. Obviously it wasn't at the capacity of the PS1 or even the Sega Saturn. The Sega Saturn had a lot of EA support and because, e because Sega Saturn burned EA EA vowed not to support the Dreamcast, which was one of those things that helped kill the Dreamcast. Um, because EA, you know, had major pull back in those days. And some would say they do today too, but not nearly as much. Uh, today, it's they're all corporate at this point. And it's a sad thing to see, especially for me, for what I think was their peak was the 6th gen, the GameCube, uh, PS2, Xbox original era. Uh, I, I think... EA was at their peak. They had their they had their hands in publishing and everything. They had the great Lord of the Rings series games. Um, they had um, EA Big, you know, doing SSX Tricky and uh, NBA Street, NFL Street. They had uh, the Def Jam games. Um, they uh, licensed those. They uh, published those. They had all these great. Um, you know, smaller I, uh, smaller games that they published that they were well known for uh, outside of the, the big games. And um, they don't, you know, they no longer have that variety. And, you know, obviously with the uh, with them getting rid of Visceral Games at this point, they're, they're only interested in being service based software publishers, which is uh, pathetic and sad. And, uh, you know, at this point, they don't really make much that I care about anyway. Um, and pretty much everything they make turns to shit. <laughs> um, you're going to see a graphic up. And some of these things I didn't even know. I didn't even realize that EA basically consumed some of these companies. And everything that they consume turned to shit. Like, it's there's no denying it. Just look at these companies here. Um, I almost forgot what they did to Will Wright and The Sims and Spore. Uh, like, that was his dream game, and they just destroyed that dude. And it's just, it's a sad thing to see. I was The Sim City, uh, look what they did to Bioware. Uh, Knights of the Old Republic was amazing, but Knights of the Old Republic 2 is not. It's not, it wasn't a good game. And you look at Mass Effect. Um, one to Mass Effect three, and then Mass Effect Andromeda. Oh my gosh! Like that's probably the most egregious example of e EA's garbage nature. And you know, without you know big deals with like you know basically Disney and Star Wars and stuff. You know, who knows what? would they even be around anymore just look what they did to my favorite series um like burnout which i love burnout one and two um i didn't hate burnout three but i could you could tell you could feel the difference um that ea um was basically pushing it to be some super uber franchise which is never meant to be it was a mid-tier game and they were trying to push it to be some you know, some big revenue driving game and super overly flashy and you know, Burnout's pretty much dead today. Uh, Need for Speed um, is, you know, not dead, but it might as well be because, you know, nobody really checks for Need for Speed, Need for Speed games anymore. Um, look what look at their basketball game. Um, they've been fumbling with NBA Live for years and it's not up to par, not up to snuff. Uh, maybe they're getting better at it, um, but I, I used to play NBA Live on Sega Genesis up until like 99. <laughs> like the game was so fun to me to play the live series and Madden and whatnot died for me. Probably once NBA 2K or N NFL 2K came out and I started checking for uh, those games because I, I just thought they were better football games. And uh, because EA, you know, kind of pussyfooted on N64, I got into the NFL quarterback club games which I liked a whole lot 
Um, I love the graphics. The graphics were certainly better on those games than they were the Madden games on N64. But, you know, and then, you know, uh, the 2K football games died off and uh, got killed away by EA taking the license for NFL. You know, it's not their fault completely. NFL also hoard themselves and they took, you know, the money to be exclusive to EA. So just, I mean, just look at the game, look at the the dead games in their wake. You know, it's just a sad thing to see. They make so much money. Um, they bragged a few years ago about making a billion dollars in DLC revenue. Um, now this is this, this whole microtransactions with loot boxes and loot crates and all this stuff. And they got rid of Visceral because Visceral wanted to make a story based one player game and EA didn't see you know they didn't see return revenue on a game like that they don't see the merits in video games of that caliber of that nature because they don't constantly bring in revenue so I've been a fan of uh, Amy Hennig's games uh, before I knew who she was um, one game that she was kind of the creative driver on back in the day that I love was Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver um, love that game on the Dreamcast. It was a PS1 game as well. That's where it started on and it got ported to Dreamcast. That's where I played it. Um, and th what that game did, what, what it had was amazing. And it's just, it's, even to this day, it's a really good game. I think Digital Foundry did like a, a documentary on it. You should definitely check that out. Um, I was trying to remember in a podcast uh, with the Juices Loose guys where it was, but it was a Digital Foundry video on Soul Reaver and you can go see what awesome things they were doing and obviously she went on to another one of my favorite um, series of all time the Uncharted series which I love you know obviously those are single player focused games I the industry needs big single player games because I that's where I mostly am um, I do obviously I do uh, competitive multiplayer games as well uh, not that much, you know, like Splatoon and Mario Kart and stuff like that. But I don't really get into uh, competitive online stuff. I mostly play single player first games that may have a multiplayer aspect. And with what EA is doing now, it's, uh, the industry, um, it, it's its a fear that the industry itself could also turn that way. Thank God that the, the indie uh, community is growing and thriving and as big as it is because we wouldn't have these mid-tier games to where we can enjoy video games the same way and um you know midways and acclaims and thing you know companies like that are gone and e um and because of the indie scene we get still we are still able to at least get games that ea and midway or not ea that midway and acclaim and you know, even THQ to some degree before they got, before their eyes got too big, um, that those game those companies would make. And, you know, you know, I've made multiple videos on EA, I think, at this point, how trash of a, com a company I think they are. I, it's, as a huge Star Wars fan, it really hurts my heart to, to see that, as far as the video games go, that they have to go through those guys, those assholes. I, I would love to like start a petition to Disney to you know to uh, force basically force EA to bring Star Wars games to the Switch because obviously the Switch is a success. Success. I just think EA stubbornness and their business model doesn't work well on Switch, and so because they have that license, um, um, as far as Star Wars games, I can't get Star Wars games on my favorite console and it just drives me crazy Disney can step in and you know because they have to deal with them step in and have some other company port the games you know kind of like what happened with uh, you know we have we have that situation all the time where another company comes in and ports uh, the games to a platform um, a different platform so hopefully that will happen but you know EA like I said I don't like the direction they're going in I hope they don't pull the industry that way Luckily, we still have companies, big companies out there. Rockstar uh, still uh, prides single-player games. Um, Bethesda does. Bethesda just released a single-player story game only. A big game that I'm sure they spent a good amount of money on uh, being Wolfenstein 2. And there's no multiplayer in the game at all. And that, to me, is commendable. That's why everybody should go out and support it. I'm going to buy the game twice. 
I'm gonna pick it up on Steam and on Switch. So uh, that's pretty much all I have to say. EA's garbage. EA's trash. And uh, hopefully they won't. They're they don't have a you know a, a gravity because they're a huge planet <laughs> in this uh, in this universe of video gaming. And hopefully their gravitational pull doesn't pull all the other companies in their in their direction. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, as always, thank you for watching and listening. And I'll see you fools next time. Peace out. Oh yeah, one more thing. Play Nintendo fools. Do 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 do.